Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Boot Shopping here at Ultra Football. I'm Costa and I'm joined today by New Zealand International and Melbourne Victory defender Claudia Bunch. We're going to go have a look at the brand new Adidas and Parley collaboration boots. We'll also talk New Zealand, Melbourne Victory and plenty, plenty more. Let's go have a look. Okay. Go. Welcome to Ultra Football. Is your first time here? What are your thoughts? No, I've been here a few times now. Um, it's such an awesome store, awesome jerseys and boots, and yeah, been here a few times. So now you're in New Zealand International, which we'll touch on a little bit later, but before we get into that, I want to hear about your youth playing career. What was that like? I guess growing up in New Zealand and then making that transition across, uh, what was that whole experience like when you were younger? Yeah, um, so yeah, grew up playing in Auckland, New Zealand, and yeah, New Zealand's a small place, and I think the football world's pretty small, so. Um, my one of my youth coaches is actually the assistant coach for Victory, so yeah, he kind of like gave me a good connection um, to Jeff, and yeah, I've been here ever since. Awesome, cool. So you made that move from New Zealand over to Melbourne Victory in 2020, which we knew was obviously a big cool year. What was that experience like for you moving over, still at a young age, and making that fully transition? Yeah, it was a little bit scary at first. First time I had moved away um, from home, even though it's only across the ditch, it's like a three-hour. Um, flight, so not too far and yeah. my sister actually also lives in Melbourne um, so I've spent a lot of time here and yeah it definitely took a while to adjust to professional football but um, I've loved it and I love the team and I love the city. Awesome. Now, the Women's World Cup is coming up this year which we know everyone's so excited for myself personally I think having it here in Australia is it's an awesome experience obviously you as a Kiwi international 18 appearances for New Zealand how excited are you excited to sort of represent women's football on a bigger stage here and especially here in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's um, also quite nerve-wracking. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, I can be part of that team and it will be my first World Cup. Um, and the fact that it's in Australia and New Zealand is um, really special and, yeah, it's a really exciting time to be a, a footballer um, in the world. Awesome. What are some of your maybe personal ambitions and personal goals for that World Cup coming up? Um, personal goals, I think as a team we really want to win our first game. Um, the fans have never won a game at the World Cup before. Um, and then, yeah, the ultimate goal is to progress out of our group. And yeah, I'm hoping to have some sort of um, part in that, whether that means I'm playing, whether that means I'm on the bench. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna yeah train hard these next few months for that. You're at Melbourne Victory right now. I want to ask you first, what was your personal feeling like? You were part of that 2021 squad and the 2022 squad, which obviously went back to back, winning the championship. What was that feeling like for you personally? Is it difficult for you to be a part of both squads and I guess sort of just to continue it on or what was that whole feeling like? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, my first season, I wasn't really expecting too much. Um, kind of first year playing pro, I just wanted to learn as much as possible. Um, and then, yeah, to win the championship was pretty special and then to do it the second time um, was crazy. And yeah, the final, we didn't really have much of the ball and we were defending a lot, but I think we've got a really good group of girls and Jeff's kind of created this environment um, and we have a winning mentality. So yeah, it's an honor to be a part of um, such a special group and some of the girls are some of my best mates. So makes going to work really easy and yeah, that translate on the field, I think. Is that something that you can feel between both the Victory Squad and the New Zealand International Team Squad? That sense of unity, I guess, is one of the biggest things that maybe others might look at as an underrated aspect, but some of that you look at as maybe one of the most important ones for, I guess, the team to have success on and off the field? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it's a team sport. It's, it's a big component, I think, for Victory. Um, our first year, we didn't really expect too much and didn't have the biggest names in our team, but I think our connection is what got us through to the final and ultimately um, what we would, yeah, we were able to win it. Um, same with Ferns, I've grown up with a lot of those girls and looked up to a lot of them growing up as well. So yeah, it's a really tight knit group and yeah, we're hoping that we can create a bit of history in the World Cup. Awesome then, before we head over into the brew room, which is why we're here, and I can't wait to get hands on the brand new boots. I wanna ask you just the last final thing. We spoke about the World Cup. What do you think this means for women's football here? And, and are we doing enough to really progress the game as general in Australia and in New Zealand? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, I think we can always be doing more. I think it's getting better um, compared to like what it used to be. A lot of women that used to play for the national teams didn't used to get paid. So now that we can, you know, get the opportunity to be financially stable is, is really good, but still got a long way to go. And I think off the back of the World Cup, we should be seeing more change. Awesome, yeah. We, we, we've had the chats, we've done all this, but this is the exciting part. We're going to head over into the brew room. It looks beautiful. We're going to have a look at the brand new Adidas Predator Parlay Pack, which 
an unbelievable boot, unbelievable colorway, and the story behind it is just as good. So we're gonna go touch on that in the brew room, and then we might even put it to the test after. George is my favorite. Yeah. I'm gonna win again, so let's go. We'll see. <laughs> Claudia, we're in the brew room and in my hands I've got the brand new Adidas Parlay pack with the ocean colour inspired blue and white. It's a fantastic boot and it's a boot with a great story behind it as well with the recycled ocean plastic too. I'm going to hand these over to you. I Thank want you to you. give me your thoughts on these and I guess the message behind them and I guess the boot in general as well. Yeah, I mean the colourway is sick and yeah, there's a little bit of metallic shine and a little bit of glitter so yeah, it's definitely a pretty boot and I think um, yeah, the partnership with Palais and Adidas, um, they've been together since 2015 to help reduce plastic waste in the ocean. I think it's a fantastic initiative and yeah, a really good looking boot. Awesome. Now, for you specifically as a player, wearing a boot like this with the message of trying to create a better for the environment, do you feel that sense of responsibility also and does it give you a bit more of that sense of pride to be able to represent the message on the pitch and showing more of a message rather than just the football play. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the initiative to reduce plastic waste and with um, the partnership with Parley as well. Um, yeah, it's something I'm quite passionate about and something that Adidas have been um, working on for quite a while now. And I think having their own boot to kind of send that message across is going to be massive. And yeah, hopefully we can get to see a few more people playing in these boots. Definitely, of course. So we've got the Predators in hand. I want to speak more about you as a player and what your type of boots were when you were growing up. Which boot did you tend to go towards? Mm -hmm. Have you always been a Predator sort of player? Yeah, I've always kind of leaned towards Adidas. I have um, wide feet, so to say. Um, so I think the Adidas boots have, yeah, suited me. Um, I started off with the OG Copers, I think most people did, um, and kind of fell in love with those. And yeah, I've um, had the Preds kind of as they've um, changed over the years. Um, and yeah, kind of stuck it out with them and yeah, really enjoy playing in them. Awesome. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned you like the colorway. If you could make your own boot, how are you going to make that colour? Are you going to keep it flashy? Are you going to keep it bold? What, what are you going for? Oh, I'll be honest, I don't like too much colour, but I think the white's really nice with the blue. Um, maybe like a blue and black? Yeah, I quite I lean towards black boots, a typical defender. So. Yeah, true defender, yeah. blue, and that's exactly what I want to say. Now, Chloe, you've got the boots in hand, we know how nice they are, but we have to put them to test on the pitch. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret. The last three guests we've had on, I've hit the target first. I have ended up losing in the end. Okay. But I am being a rumor that if I hit it first, I might actually win this one. So try the boots on, go have a kick, and I'll meet you on the pitch. Cool, sounds good. Claudia, you've tried the boots on, how they feel, what are your first initial thoughts on them? Yeah, really comfy, they feel yeah, really good and we've already had a couple of hits and I've actually hit the target so um, yeah, ready for our challenge. So you heard that, we've had practice shots, I've had zero practice shots, so they look good, they feel comfortable, but this is the real challenge, okay? Claudia, paper, scissors, rock to see who goes first, I'm going to go rock, okay? Oh, sugar. <laughs> That's the first time I think I've lost and that someone's actually understood paper, scissors, rock. I wasn't sure we were going to go shoot or not. Take it on, you hit it first time. We'll okay. Go. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous here to be honest. We, just, just so we know, that ball creeped way past the halfway line. Just there. We'll try top right. I think it's yours. <laughs> That's definitely the closest so far. And again, I want to, this is happening every single time here at Boost Shopping. I'm the closest every time. And I, Where's my contract? I want a contract. Oh, this isn't close enough. Yeah, I know. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. See you later. <laughs> Just waved goodbye. Just waved goodbye. That's... I can't lie. I've started pumping myself up to everyone saying that I've hit it first and... Put, are we stopping at that? Cool, yeah, other than joining him, you're the first person that's ever hit it before me. But... I'm about to hit it straight away now. Whoa! Oh, That's what I need. One shot. Straight after she hits it. Give it, give it. We're not finishing on a draw though, Claudia. All right. There is no chance. It is 1-1. One, one. Okay. And that, see, that was with a bit of venom as well, Claudia. Yeah, but you I, I get, I get, 
I always get told off for a safety lock. And last week against Maya, safety lock was not. I took it off. Turn safety lock off. Okay. So close. <laughs> My goodness. I was a nervous. I was a nervous. What did I tell you that corner was? Whose corner? My corner. I had a Costa's corner. It's a hamstring. Ref, sup? Sup? There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, finally. Gloria, you've gone up 2 1. I, I don't want to admit it, but I'm a little bit nervous. But with a brand new Women's World Cup ball, which is a beautiful ball as well. I'm going to hit it top left in. Drop it down below, Costa's corner. That's what I want. Put it on rotation, Costa's corner. Oh, oh no! Well, we have to keep going now. <laughs> That's right. Two all. We're not finishing there. Oh, I'm winning it. God. I'm winning it. I'm winning it. Let's go. Couldn't hit it more square. Claudia, I mean, clearly we've seen the boots show results. How do they feel at the end of all the shots we were just taking? Um, no, nah, they were really comfortable and yeah, felt good off the boots. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Boot Shopping here at Ultra Football. All the best for the rest of the season of the victory Thanks. and for New Zealand as well and the upcoming World Cup, which I'm sure everyone's excited to go and watch. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Boot Shopping here. Make sure to tune in for the next one coming out soon. They're only going to get bigger and better as well. We'll see you guys there. Bye.